All right, guys. So this is gonna be game number two, um, or game number three. It's it's tied one one. So for our purposes, game four was played. In game one, game one was game two, game two is now game three, and game three will be game four. For our purposes here. So, um, Vulture had a pretty strong showing right there. I mean, absolutely beautiful micro. I mean, uh, from the Zealot micro to the nice Reaver harass behind the mineral line uh, at the 7 o'clock of the natural last game. I have to admit, it was pretty good here. So, it's running in the bottom left. It'll be the red Zerg Zitty here. And the opponent will be the yellow Protoss Vulture. So, uh, yeah. I, I honestly, guys, I, I honestly have absolutely no freaking idea why someone named Vulture plays, um, plays, uh, play, plays Protoss. I, I, it's beyond me why someone would do that. This map, though, um, shit. Hold on. I know where we are. Okay, no, no. Why did it skip ahead? Why did it skip me ahead? What was this map called? No, 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 no. Sorry, plus Jade? It is not Jade. That is... Okay, too far. All right, anyway, so we're back in the game. Is this really Jade? I think that's bullshit if that's Jade. If this is Jade. Now, that is no possible way that that's Jade. Really? Actually, the more I'm thinking about it, yeah, that looks like Jade. Yeah. All right, so it's going to be Jade. God damn it. I don't even know the map rules for this, to be completely honest, but... Now... Jade... So for Jeffy again from Vulture or Two Gates, um, but looking more of like a Vol uh, for a <laughs> for a Forge Fast Expand, um, and we're just going to watch Vulture do his thing and just scout. So he's going to be scouting in the wrong location, but he should be getting it off with a second probe scout. Overlord's also going in the wrong positioning here, so he's going to have to drone scout to just I verify that there will be a Forge Fe here instead of kind of just doing the guessing game right here. And um, I'm not really sure what our commentator friend is doing in China right now, but he's boxing off the ramp, talking about something that, uh, you know, I, I have absolutely no idea what he's trying to talk about. With that being said, guys, it looks like it's going to be a Forge Effie. Unless off the, like, you know, 0.01% chance that he's going to can rush his Zerg. We have a 12 hat. We have a 12 pool, I believe. That might have been a nine pool, actually. But no gas. There is no gas. That is that is important to realize. There is no gas. So that being said, um, there's no, oh, excuse me. No gas coming up. And uh, Ziddy's like, "Yo, dude, I'm gonna get in here." And our right, Vulture's like, "You know, I'm gonna get in your base and be realizing that you went a twelve pool." Um, I'm wondering if that was actually a nine pool. I don't even know. He, he just went a pool before hatch build. That's that's the important thing. The thing you should realize is that apparently Vulture again is gonna go Nexus first. Um, he's done this now three games in a row. Um, Ziddy has go gone, I believe, pool before hatch every game. I don't know if it's like Chinese BBZ. I, I honestly have no idea, but I believe Ziddy has gone nine pool every game so far. Which it's not bad. It's just like more aggressive Zerg. Um and I mean we've seen a different build from him ever uh, both games so far. So see how he's gonna do this map. Now this game is definitely gonna have the you know the how do I say? Fighting spirit esque way. We may see another repeat of game one or game two. Actual game one or, or game two for our purposes or last game. Um, we may see another kind of style like that as we're actually seeing the far off third base again by Ziddy again. Uh, not gonna take his own third base, but again. Um, okay, no, that's actually the safer one. Okay. 
Because last game, it might have been the reason why Ziggy may have actually lost. Because Ziggy took the expo where, like, the, the expansion right where the third was for where Vulture was taking his third. So he's so actually Ziggy's actually taking the right base here. It would it would if he took the wrong base in this case, it would actually be end up being this base right here, right up there, where my where my cursor is, not the StarCraft one. And I'm getting notifications to go play Song Pop Free, which I don't want to play right now. But it is a good iPhone game. Song Pop Free, you should go you should go play it. I'm gonna check my email. Same time. But yeah, so things are pretty standard. I don't think we've seen any really ident like are there anything other than very standard play right here? Cybercore going up. I mean, we're really not seeing too much. I got a new correction on my Chinese grammar. That's fantastic through an email. Great. You guys didn't know I studied Chinese. Not because, like, all of a sudden, like, I was like, dude, I need to learn Chinese for the Chinese OSL. No, I've just been doing it for the past two years. So, I was like, you know what? The Chinese OSL, man. I can do some of that. Um, I, But the only reason why I started picking this up now then, you know, say earlier was one, I didn't realize there was actually VODs of the stuff. I didn't actually realize that. Number two, the shimmy had dibs on it. So I was like, yeah, whatever. It's all good. That's his style. I don't want to bug him. Um, it's kind of like how, like, casters do their own kind of thing, like Hucklebeast does, like, Gambit Cup, kind of stuff like that, and like that. That's, like, kind of his territory. Um... Like, uh, oh, Birdie, for example, and L Master do DRTL. I do ICOP Clan League. That's starting today. And we're gonna have a lane run by. Um, now, not like to say, like, it's gonna do damage. It's, it's actually more or less just for scouting. And it can be a nuisance, too. I mean, you can, you can pull off, you can get probe kills. It could be another ISL 3 where Ziki gets, like, 13 probe kills with two lanes in the main base. Um,. And Ziddy, man, level 18, I mean, like, that guy has to be pretty good. You know, maybe ZVP's not his best matchup. But it looks pretty damn strong. Um, at least in terms of game one. And wow. Um, he killed a probe. Um, with one Ling, though, I'm really not sure if he's going to do too much. But it, if they're active enough, they, it, it can be a very big nuisance. I mean, if you're not a player of Brood War... Um, you know, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like, a, you know, a really high level, I wouldn't say I'm like a really, really like top tier player by any means. I, I'm literally, I'm just saying like when you have a Ling in your base, you tend to F up. When you have something that's not, you're not, not, you're not used to, it just throws everything off. Um, unless you're a really talented player and that's why those players are very talented. And Volge is going to go for the same thing. He's going to get plus one uh, air attack. Um, very much what like Doty does. Um, and that's okay. So Vulture doing... Oh, that... Uh, no, it's not. Okay, I was going to say, you got a nice surround on that. Just going to go for the uh, Zealots, though. Um, interesting choice. He's not going to get both. Uh, he's just going to go for the Goon. Okay. And those, those, those things are going to go down. And Zid is going to go for the same build. Um, and like I said, I mean, that's not very surprising either. Because this map it just has that fighting spirit feel to it. It's literally just an inside-out fighting spirit. You just have a reverse ramp, and then every, everything's the same. Everything on Jade is literally the exact same thing. So, we'll have to find out how this game goes down, guys. Uh, yeah. Alright, so what do we what do we have? A hydrogen going down? I look away for half a second. I don't, I don't know what text coming up. Feel free to talk to me in the chat, man. I like that. I like talking to people. Okay, no, okay. no we're going to have Reavers coming out again. Okay, no, Vulture's doing the exact same thing like he did the last game. Um, and you know, in a round of eight, in a, like, in a, like an OSL, like the thing that's actually is like important, you know, I can't really say it's not bad to do the same ability. If you know, if it works against your opponent once, why not try it again? The same thing can be said, like, oh, he might be prepared for a next game where I might cheese him next. Game. I mean, there's a lot of like things, but I think both are valid. He could cheese or go for the same build here, either either way. And it worked last game, and this is anti Hydra everything. So if if Ziddy wants to go mass Hydra. I mean, he's getting Hydra upgrades. Um, I'm not. I mean, he's not really showing identification of going anything else. I mean, it's not going to quick hive or anything. So that might be a better option. Um, Cause Corsair Reaver literally just shreds apart Hydra. Um, once the Zealots start coming in, you know, the other unit compositions like with Storm, you're already gonna have like that surplus of Reavers that you normally have. 
instead of having them in the late game. Then all of a sudden, like, Hydras just don't do crap. So we'll have to find out. And, uh, but I mean, Vulture loves to do this, you know, Overlord Harass. He's gonna get all these. He doesn't care about that Spore. Oh, but the Scourge! Oh, no! He has the magic... Oh! That was a fancy little trick right there. I'm not really sure if it paid off. It was fancy looking, though. It was very fancy looking. Alright. So. I don't really know. Apparently, they're apparently playing on low latency. That's always mucho important. And it looks like Vulture's going to be taking a third at the 12. And I honestly want to know what Ziddy's doing. And all, oh, really? Oh, did the Groove Shark? I don't want to, like... Just gotta loop the song. That's what I need to do. You get the Zerg horror music because that's the soundtrack I call it. But with that defensive Reaver, though, I mean, Lings just don't do anything. Oh, uh, that's not gonna work. Okay. I feel like after like the Scarabs chasing something for more than three seconds, it just doesn't work. I think that's like a general rule that you can apply to Scarabs and Reavers in general. Like if it doesn't hit something within the first three seconds, it's gonna hit either one unit or it's just not. Or it's just going to explode on itself and not really do too well. That's the way I look at it. Uh, we have Overlord Speed coming up now. Uh, all that fun stuff. So, pretty much, I, I, I think Zin's just going to be going Math Hydra. On a map like this, um, definitely gives you more surface area than what Zerg would initially have in a natural. Um, if they can hold off their, like, that central choke point between the natural and the third base, um, it isn't as close quarters as it is in Fighting Spirit, so it does definitely give Zerg a little bit more maneuverability, so, you know, that, you know, you can storm dodge more effectively. I mean, storm dodging is only so effective, but it does help out Hydra. Maps open, I guess, can help out Hydra too. I, I, I'm not really sure if Zinni just likes to go Hydra in general. It's like, dude, Hydra, like... But he has no answer for these Corsair. These Corsair are really doing a lot of damage. And there's the Reaver in the back of the main, in the main base right here. Nice reaction, though, but that's not going to go off. That's not going to go off. Three, three second rule applies. Bam, not going to go off. I called it. I told you. And we have something happening in the main base? No, we don't. We just have a couple of lanes just chilling. And... Yep. Alright, so... I, I just feel like Zinni needs to do something. I, he's just been so... I feel like he wants... I feel like what he's doing right now, he's like, I want to build up a mass Hydra army, which, I mean, I guess it makes sense here. The problem, though, allowing Vulture to do that same thing like he did last game, like, to power up again, like... Allow him to get to so many high Templar, allow him to get, you know, to, uh, you know, a pretty high gateway, you know, army from Corsair Reaver. I mean, I'm not really quite sure what he can do. I mean, he needs to fend off these pushes, but at the same time, though, he needs to be active on the map. But Vulture's, like, aggression has just been, like, phenomenal, and that's one of the benefits. Oh, those, oh, those Scourge! Uh, didn't do too much. Uh, well, he lost maybe one, one or, one or two, possibly. And, um... Yeah, these, these plus one Corsair are just making a hell for Ziddy right now. Even though he's a level 18 versus a level 3, but still, wow. Amazing play. Alright, so, uh, a welcome new viewer that has joined the chat, or the joined the uh, the stream. I see you right there. You're, you're viewer number 5. I don't know who exactly you are, but you're viewer number 5. Um, so yeah. Chinese OSL. Fantastic stuff. And we have drop. Okay, I like this. I, it's definitely something that probably should have happened last game, but never did. Drop play um, can definitely make the harass back onto your opponent. It's just, it just feels so late. I mean, once Protoss is off like three base, that's when they just really like to get their tech up. That's when they, you know, when they get, they get their, all their tech trees done, and they pretty much have like access to everything they really want. I mean, other than like quick carrier transition. So it makes it very difficult. Um, once that happens, like harass is good, but you want to delay that, like that, that satisfactory. Oh wait, running into a couple of uh, hydras right there, but uh, not gonna do too much. Uh, losing a corsair. Uh, these corsair are just not finding overlords now. I don't really know where he's placed them, but um, yeah. But I just feel like 
Zergs want to ultimately just delay that third as long as possible, but just because of this Corsair Reaver has been so aggressive, maybe not as like, it's not like game change, it's not like game killing off Ziddy, but it's enough to stall for him, like, so that Ziddy just does not get center map control. I mean, with like minimal losses for Vulture, I mean, it's like, all right, I'm gonna go roam around like eight, eight Corsair and like, you know, three Reavers, but. What can you do? We have an expansion coming on the top left for Ziddy. Um, now our commentator friend, again, is not going to go over there probably for a little bit of time. We have Lurker Aspect coming up as well, plus one melee for something. And we're going to have to find out how it goes down. And there it goes down and shows off the expansion. I'm just trying to think what Ziddy can do right here. Uh, Swarm with Plague could help a lot. We just haven't seen Hive Tag. I mean, that's, I mean, that's literally the whole reason. And now he's powering up. Now he's going to be able to, like, he's off of whatever gateway count he was initially off of, now he's up plus six more of them. That being said, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know how it's going to play out because Ziddy needs to get Hive, and he needs to do something with that Hive Tag. That's something that never happened last game. Um, uh, and we have a Storm Drop that killed off three drones. See, now this isn't even my fault. That, this is the commentator's fault. I, I, I just guess what's on the screen. But, um, yep. It's so much more chillaxing casting. Like, I don't need to take, it's actually funny because uh, there was, um, I think Hacklebeast and Elegant were saying this during Gambit Cup. They were talking about um how, like, every time they after a cast, they just need to take, like, they, ha like, Elegant gets pizza and then takes a nap, and then Hacklebeast just takes a nap. You know, that is so true. Um, I would, I would admit, but this, this isn't as, uh, nearly as, uh, tiring. Um, so you don't have to be like, you don't, I, I don't have to have my, my hands on the keyboard and stuff. I don't have to, like, watch the map as bad. I just have to watch this central screen, because I'm cool. But, alright, so we're gonna have Vulture pushing across the map here to the third base of Ziddy right here. Now, again, he does have more maneuverability than he did in Fighting Spirit, so this will give him maybe more room he does have the high ground advantage as well guys um are we having a doom drop in the main base we might be doing that at the same time here um there isn't really that much help here from ziddy on to that base here as he's trying to do a doom drop i'm not really sure how full these things are but the reavers are doing something i don't really know what's going on i don't know what's going on i but i think vulture is going to be able to push through this the high tunnel are going to get sniped off though from the lurkers happening on the high ground um these overlords don't seem to have much in else in them or anything and is vulture gonna take this game again um no he's not apparently he has no obs okay no okay there's a couple of vultures uh, sorry hydralisk out in in the main base right here he's t killing out some tech right here so this isn't bad for ziddy right here and all the, look at this if you look at the mini map here now all of a sudden vulture is coming all the way back up this is what he needed to do last game he needed to have some kind of like move that wouldn't allow him to really kill off that to, to kill that nexus and this is exactly how you do that it stalls for time. It allows you to, you know, you know, re remake your army. I wouldn't say remax, but you know, remake up your Hydro's army, and then you know, go fight that back again. So this is actually a really, really nice play. It didn't necessarily like kill off much. It 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 stalled the time. It allowed Ziddy to eventually get up. Look at this. I don't know how late this game is, but this is a pretty late hive from Ziddy from the past three games. It has been a very delayed. He's just getting up his queen zest. But that's a lot of hydras right here. And because of the reposition, it's forced off a lot more hydra production right now. And I'm really not sure if there's that much left. These uh, zealots, though, are actually going to be a lot of a big issue right here, as there's no vol um, excuse me, lurkers to deal with this. Uh, but does it matter? Does Vulture have enough to deal with this? I think all of you guys decide that. I mean, he's killing off the third base right now. 15 minutes have passed. Yeah, that's definitely a delayed layer for sure. But he, uh, Ziddy really loves to do this kind of like mid-game Hydra, which is very, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a stylistical thing and it works fine, I guess. It's just what happens when you get, when you go Corsair Reaver, it can really wreck up Hydra very, very well. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. I mean, that look at, just look how much there's red on the map. This game should be over soon. Vulture doesn't have a third base anymore. This this fir this army though is gonna be a force to reckon with here, you know, foddering that many units for no reason. 
isn't really that cost effective but it what, what it does allow though for Zidi to do is just come in here with a bit like more more units without so there won't be any more storm left and then he can just come in here and clean up not to mention though that vulture is still dying from the like initial hydrates from the drop in the main base up till now so damage has been done and the thing though is that vulture is contained and there's really no way for him to really like break out of this container right now Ziddy's not going to let up with his, like, Vulture production, uh, excuse me, Hydralisk production right here. If you guys look at, if you just look at that, you know, that shot right there of all the, all the hatcheries, those are probably all containing Hydras. I mean, he's not going to let up here. Now, we might see a counter push by Vulture, but that's just going to be the last game effort right here. I don't really see Vulture taking this game right now. I don't see if he's going to take a third base right here. It's just going to spell disaster for him because he needs to make as many units as possible. He does have enough bang for it, but... Like I said before, he just wants to produce as many gateways. He, he, literally, Vulture's only option right now is to push and kill off as many bases as possible and try to delay for that third base to go up. And this army, though, I mean, it's still pretty powerful. Um, but we have Lurkers now, which will now allow for Zealots not to be as dangerous as they have been in the past. And that's the other thing, though. I mean, because Zidia has been going such, like, just pure Hydra, Zelda has been an issue for him in the, in the small-scale battles. So he really needs... That Lurker is really going to help him out a lot more. He's going to be trying to take that third base again. And the Nationals almost find out. And Zerg's off a of five base. So I don't know. Vulture, in order for him to stay in this, back in this game, he needs to de de delay, deny as many exploits as he can... And are those guardians? No, he's just trying to run another drop. Whenever that happens, it's gonna be tough to drop though, uh, for sure. Like he's gonna get stormed to death. And this, in this protest music is such a badass you know, soundtrack, it's just so awesome. But anyway, yep. Yeah, so. What are we seeing here? We are seeing Hydras coming in here. This should be the game winning kill. Ah, uh, Hydra storming. Ow. Ow, but yeah, he's pushing him a ramp though. So definitely Vulture does have a um, you know, high ground advantage, but at the same time, he's just he's just kind of throwing away these units just to get the drop in the main base or in the natural, whatever way you want to, you know, describe it. And he's just going to borrow Lurkers here. Now, the other thing though is now all of a sudden Vulture's going to... Uh, gonna be back in his main base here which now will allow for Zidia to go attack the front door so it's tough it's just kind of being relentless here and one base is really not gonna deny this there was a GG by Vulture so you know a nice game win for Zidi right here so we're gonna go on our next game guys and yeah it's all that fun fun stuff so Zidi's up to 2-1. Now, again, for any of the viewers, I initially casted um, game one. That I thought was game one. It was actually game four. So if you're watching the YouTube odds, again, just being trying to clear that up, I'm going to make the playlist and, you know, name them accordingly. Like, 001 is actually going to be game one, not game four. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.